Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. So when you see people run, oh, somebody said he will kill me in the village. Somebody said I will never marry over her dead body. All of that is nonsense. It is your faith they are working on. And you believe it and receive it and your life begins to. There are many of us constantly requiring um, endorsement by people because we do not know that the spirit of the lord makes everybody a first class personality there are no second class people with god submission to the leadership of the holy spirit let me tell you one big secret in my life i never do anything until i hear god did you hear what i just told you if God does not speak, I will not carry this speaker and leave it there. Now, the problem with many of us is we have been indoctrinated that God is always speaking. I respect those opinions. But based on the word of God and my experience, God does not always speak. He speaks, but he's not like a robot talking. In the fifth day of the tenth month of the tenth year, the word of the Lord came. 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 The patience of knowing that when his voice comes, what you call wasted time is rubbish. When his voice comes, it will bring you speed. Oh God, my colleagues have gone and left me. I've been a graduate for 10 years. What are you doing with my life? Most of them have even built houses. Let his word come. When the Holy Spirit comes and says, Son, it's time. You will not walk. You will fly. Oh, no, 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 no. He does not give you progress. He lifts you. Me, see, this is why you see some people quiet. And then all of a sudden, in certain seasons, they just explode. And you look at them and you're like, ah, where did this guy come out from? Nobody comes out of nowhere. It's a lie. You just were not there during their times of dealings with the Spirit. If we launch a television station now, all over the world for the next six months, they say there is a channel koinonia tv my god come and see what is happening as though it just started no sir nobody just starts in on stage there is a track record of walking with the holy spirit that's why you see i acknowledge him so much so much when you see me talk about the holy spirit it can annoy you i'm not copying benny Hinn. no it's a revelation take away the holy spirit from my life you will be so embarrassed by what is left it will not be worth it take away the holy spirit from my life i'm not worth your attention take away the holy spirit from my life i'm not worth your confidence but with him <sighs> now you be god almighty god for you know the man you know the man one more time now you be god almighty god you know the man listen do you know the meaning of what you just said you don't use human strategies you are not a man when he comes to hold your hands he's not going to do the y the x he's not that dull he's called the spirit of god my ways are not your ways neither are my thoughts your thoughts for as far as the heaven is when god comes you expect him to move you this way and god says let's start going back and he said lord the destination is there he says i know just go back ah, ah. Do you go back to go forward you are just leading and you turn and you find out you are there he listen he does not know the way he is the way it's not like he he just leads you he is the way he said i am the way
have you learned to trust him show me what role he played in the decisions that you made show me what roles he's playing now show me the role of the holy spirit in your financial decisions show me the role of the holy spirit in your relationships marital decision show me the role of the holy spirit in your ministry show me the role of the holy spirit in your academics ask your parents that's the secret behind the failure of many of our parents we cannot see how he led them pride and arrogance i went to school i've done this i've done that and life whips them left right and center and then you find a dear poor woman in the village oh lord i may not be educated i don't have much i can't preach but lord i just have a little boy if you can use me if you can use him and god says these are the kind of people i want 10 years later at age 10 or 11 that boy is already doing wonders and the woman is there 20 years 30 years down the line he's already celebrated all around the world because an innocent woman listen there is nothing in my work with god the i know how to touch the heart of god let me tell you surrender that is the is the best language of god in his dealings with men surrender lord i can't do it lord it is not in my power i acknowledge you that's music to his ears i show you a secret to walking with the spirit surrender surrender lord i'm brilliant let me start when i hook somewhere i will employ you like a consultant and he watches you some of us have learned to die in his arms when you see me worshiping god i worship him like a fool i will roll from end to end lord what am i without you spirit of the living god you are the mysterious wisdom behind what i do when i was i was uh, i think it was yesterday night into this morning i was just lying down and i said lord imagine the mighty things you are going to be doing today healing people blessing people imagine the thousands of people you are going to be gathering today and the lord told me something as long as you keep walking with me you will see my life in your life my life in your life that's what god told me this morning for as long as you walk with me you will see my life not my hand you see a man living you know that this is another life this is another result that's why we keep going from glory to glory that's why we keep going from dimension to dimension that's why we never give credit to the flesh never give credit to the flesh now the truth is men will clap for you men will say wow you are this you are that sometimes the holy spirit will allow you don't stop them let them pat your back but a wise person will go back and kneel down and say spirit of the living god look what you've done with my life this is the way you father me i love the way you father me this is the way you father me i love the way you father me this is the way you father me i love the way you father me this is the way you father me i love the way you father me listen i show you a fail proof secret respect his voice respect his leadership whether it is comfortable to you or not I just believe that the end is peace your mind is too small to understand the ways of god i respect him i've lost the ability to tell god no if it is the voice of god and is the direction of god so be it ancient kings never went for war until they inquired haven't prepared the army they will either use divination or prophets or priests let us know god's opinion and god will say go i have given you victory the moment he spoke there was no fear again moses was confronted with several challenges notice how moses will always retreat back to god 
all right nation of israel there is a red sea standing before us i know what many of us would have done look um i'm an intelligent man just just allow me uh let me process this now moses said all of you calm down are you calm they said okay he ran to god and said god what do i do what do i do partnership what do i do partnership remember i said if your presence will not go with me i can't go i don't want any embarrassment and he said look moses don't be afraid stretch your rod tell the people to move forward moses has said god please can you just do something can you compress a cloud to become like a road let's use that strategy how can you tell a man to go and part water it's because it has happened that's why you believe it and all of a sudden moses went and nation of israel let's start moving and they looked at him they said you see this idiot is back from wherever he went to he's back as stupid as always he said we should die instead of him to just say i don't have a solution he's now saying god said but there was the invisible part they didn't know the moment he stretched forth his rod signs and the lord walking with moses confirming the word with signs how about joshua went round jericho and they saw it what is the strategy of god how do we defeat a city whose fence can sit five chariots the whole of cgc from here to here was still not the fence of jericho so even if the fence turned around it will still be another fence it sank and god said let me give you the strategy walk around once every once for seven days the seventh day move around seven times and he went foolish enough and said guys i've gotten the strategy they went round. i can imagine a nation of israel listen even if you are afraid still obey while you are complaining be obeying lord i don't think i understand but let your legs keep taking you to the place of obedience faith is not fearlessness faith is the resilience to obey him to the latter regardless of what you feel the ministry of the spirit submission to the leadership of the holy spirit number two the second dimension of the ministry of the holy spirit is walking in the might the power and the grace of the spirit walking in the might the power the grace of the spirit where it is not your strength again i can do all things philippians 4 13 through christ which strengtheneth me the word christ yes not just the person alone he's anointing the ministry of the spirit is a ministry where a man has been overshadowed by the power of the holy spirit where you begin to walk by another agency you are the one carrying out the physical activities but the energy the might the power the wisdom the strategy is not yours watch this if i lift this keyboard or i lift this on one hand it's understandable you look at me and feel i should have power enough as an adult to lift that is that true but when i gather these four people no don't you think i'm going to do that when i gather these four people and i hold them and you see me lift them you are going to say i have jazz you will attribute it to an advantage that is tied to the realm of the spirit because human beings should not do that when you see a man use his teeth to drag a car please be wise there are two people dragging that car when you see someone in the market square putting his head inside a hyena's mouth and he doesn't enjoy him you see people do it in the market or someone shoot an arrow or cut themselves with knife there are two people there are always two people a human and a spirit when you see an old woman say you must die there are two people talking the old woman who is the medium and the spirit speaking when you ever become alone on earth you will die it's always 
a ministry of two you and the spirit of god and his power and his grace if you are not conscious of that oneness and you just drag yourself i want to go and pray for the sick how many people have died of sickness because they thought it's just because the bible said it the bible said it they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed god's word said it i believe it it settles it and you go and die because of ignorance you just go and lay hands on somebody and all of a sudden carry what is upon that person and produce casualty in your life there is the dynamics of the operation of the word it starts with the holy spirit it is his power that produces the results when you speak do you speak alone or are you just an echo of the real person speaking john said i am the voice of one crying i'm not the word but i am the voice I allow that word to find expression brothers and sisters this is the secret of this ministry you see operating under open heavens the power of the spirit the might of the spirit John chapter 3 verse 1 Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night and then he says rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man here it is no man can do these things except god be with him except god be with him no man can become fulfilled in one year except god be with him no man can defy all of these things except god be with him your results are ordinary although you look like you are filled with the holy spirit although you are praying in tongues but you have not come into the eternal consciousness of your oneness with him two people becoming one here's a statement that is made during marriage and it was god himself that made that statement therefore what god has joined let no man put that means only god can put us under what god has joined who joined you and the holy spirit please help me so the principle is still applicable what god has joined that partnership with the holy spirit no man should be able to put asunder no charm should be able to put asunder no limitation should be able to put asunder because he was joined by god it's not an opinion of man your background notwithstanding when he supplies you power when he supplies you grace you activate possibilities in your life that cannot be done by a normal human being when he does something to your brain you will now see that four points five points is not something you should sit down and dream about it is a possibility that can happen when he anoints your hands then you now know that your hands may look ordinary but you can shake somebody and change his life forever when he anoints your words then you will know that speaking is not just about grammar there is a life that flows through it and produces results i know the smartest communicators around and they are unable to do much for the kingdom it takes more than speaking good english to drag people it takes an ability is working in me is working in me it's god's ability it's god's ability it's working in me it's working in me no matter how frail i look god's ability it's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. That's what the ability of God can do. It's the ability of God that has put us in over 45 nations of the world 
not being there never been on tv is an ability of the spirit is the ability of the spirit that has brought his breath upon our teachings that are changing people around the world is the ability of the spirit the miracles and the signs and the wonders the ability the crowds that you see gathered here there is no man walk around this city you are not going to see one coin on your poster the one billboard that was put was taken away it's making it's, it's made no difference because you see brothers and sisters there is a force it's called an akazo. It's a compelling power. The power of the spirit that compels men into the will of God. That's the ability that will come upon you and drag destiny helpers to your life as if you are charming them. Yes. Yes. This is what God has done. Over 80% of the people who bless this ministry, I don't know them. I have never seen them with my eyes I don't know how they got the ministry account details over 50% of what am I saying 50% of the people that bless me I don't know them I've never seen them I don't know how they got my details it's God's ability when his power is upon your life he will shock you shock you they may see ordinary you ordinary you but then there is an ability of the spirit he said there is this treasure listen carefully in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of god the ability of the spirit working in us acts chapter 19 please quickly i want us to find somewhere and begin to pray now acts chapter 19 we are reading 11 down to 20 but we'll jump some verses acts chapter 19 let's see what happened to a man when the power of the holy spirit was upon him it says and god who wrote the miracles please help me who wrote the miracles but who did the sick people see the sick people saw who paul but who was doing the miracles in koinonia who is doing the miracles but the one you can see is joshua selman so you say wow this guy is powerful you are not wrong except for the fact that when you come to me i will redefine it and tell you it's true joshua selman is powerful but in christ and god wrought special miracles through the hands of paul so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs and aprons and the disease departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them are we together then talks about the sons of skiva and what happened to them let's go to verse 16 it says and the man in whom the evil spirit was left on them and overcame them and prevailed over them do you know why because they thought it was just about talking be healed be healed when you see a man ministering by the spirit it looks so easy you can think it's so easy till you try it that's what these guys did no partnership with the holy spirit and they wanted god's result and the demoniac pounced on them 17 we're reading down to 20 and this was known to all the jews and greeks also dwelling in ephesus and fear fell on them all and the name of the lord jesus was magnified and many that believed came look at this look at what the power of the holy spirit was doing and confessed and showed their deeds 19 and many of them which use curious acts mantras and scientific books books that they use with divination those things became obsolete brought their books together and burned them before all men and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver brothers and sisters 50,000 anything is money are we together mm. 20 so mightily grew the word and prevailed so mightily grew how by the results that were communicated it takes power to produce the result that dumbfound men listen you can criticize but you cannot withdraw power no you can't withdraw it from careers of it this thing comes upon you and it's upon you and it remains for as long as you keep working with god it will only keep multiplying i wish i had time i would have shared with you i've not even touched so much of the things that i want to share but um we'll find somewhere to stop tonight no notable achievement in life is ever done by a man alone it is always done by a man 
and a spirit either a demonic spirit or the spirit of the living god there is no man in his ability please hear me brothers and sisters no matter how sophisticated you are there is a limit to your ability so he empowers you and i'll tell you why he empowers you acts chapter 1 verse 8 acts chapter 1 verse 8 when you begin to read from verse 5 jesus was talking to them and then they told him they said will you at this time restore the nation of israel and he said it is not for you to know the times and the seasons that the father has put in his care then verse 8 says but ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and ye shall be what one more time one more time a witness is one who validates the claims of another are we together a witness is one who proves that the person testifying is not lying there are many things that god has said in his word and satan is saying is a lie so he empowers you to be a witness so they see a young man a young woman grace upon your life he has said i will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten the palmer worm has eaten and satan says it's a lie it can't happen so god says let me use somebody as a specimen he finds someone that is 10 years backward and then he tells creation watch me now and in five months he turns that person to a wonder you know how you prove a mathematical equation and you write qed not open to debate anymore i've proven it i've said it and i've done it that's what god is about to do with someone's life there are many statements that god has said but satan is saying it's a lie watch what happens to you when his power comes upon your life listen the power of the spirit does not throw people down the throwing people down is just the impact of his presence the power of the spirit lifts people to unimaginable realms unimaginable dimensions unimaginable dimensions let's look at two scriptures I saw a scripture that really 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 blessed me and i thought that we'll just look at it second second corinthians chapter 6 and verse 1 it says we then as what workers together with him like you are talking to a workforce there are times that we have the workforce meeting here in the ministry and it's just exclusive for workers so god is talking here he said we then as workers together with him say i'm a worker together with him say it again i'm a worker together with him when you are a worker with him then you will produce extraordinary results you will produce unusual results this thing i'm teaching you has no respect for gender some of you are sitting looking at me and saying can god do anything with me ah. the god of heaven that i know can turn your life around in ways that you will not imagine read from genesis to revelation he met ordinary people turn them around ordinary people turn them around ordinary jesus turned him around ordinary peter turned him around Stamara Moses turned him around. Young, fearful Joshua turned him around. Weak, feminist Deborah turned her into a warrior. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Awesome God, I'm just a mortal and you are the awesome God, mortal awesome God, I'm just a mortal In a few minutes now, we are going to begin to pray and you will watch him once again in action, doing wonders, changing lives in split seconds. 
disease is dissolving watch this in split seconds deliverance is happening in split seconds impartations happening brothers and sisters a man cannot bless you like that oh learn this no but he will not suffer my foods to for i carry his presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me mortal man awesome i'm just a but you are the awesome i'm just a Say in the name of Jesus from today I walk in the consciousness of the leadership of the Holy Spirit I submit to the leadership of the Holy Spirit I submit to his anointing I will never try to do anything without his anointing without his empowerment without the unction of the spirit together with the holy spirit my life becomes an awesome wonder That's right. That's right. i know some of you think i'm just talking help that lady under the anointing there please i know some of you think i'm just speaking and making noise no sir we are not teaching you cunningly devised fables that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have handled this is what we bring the sickness in your body can leave because he is here you see that the disease in your life and all these things can leave because he is here the oppression in your life the retrogression the mountain that stands before you you have been staring at it for years can you shift back and let your senior partner stare that mountain for you and watch the way he will dissolve it your your calling it a mountain is relative to your perception step back and let the creator of the heavens and the earth the one who the mountains keep like lambs before him hallelujah let's end with this scripture daniel 11 verse 32 i have to stop here so we'll pray daniel 11 and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries he says but the people that do know their god not their neighbor's god but the people that do know their God the first thing that should happen to them is capacity in the spirit and the second thing that happens to them is that they are graced to do exploits listen brothers and sisters this thing is not by might Zechariah chapter 4 give it to us please and verse 6 it is not by might it is not by power it is by the spirit the empowerment of the spirit when you walk with the holy spirit he empowers you to represent him when you walk with the holy spirit he takes away fear from you your life no longer becomes a thing of fear this fear all around is a product of our thinking that all the results will come from us the bible says then he answered and spake unto me this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, unto Joshua Selman, unto Koinonia, saying, not by might. You won't build that house by might. You won't build it by power. No. Your CGPA will not change by might. Not by power. Reducing your prayer time will not change it. Throwing away your good friends will not change it. It is by the Spirit. The next time people ask you, how was this result? By the Spirit by the spirit by the spirit koinonia by the spirit his wisdom upon us by the spirit leadership by the spirit the miracles tonight by the spirit the impartation by the spirit i have learned to walk with him i have learned to walk with him i have learned to walk closely with him he promised me listen 
the Holy Spirit never promised me money the Holy Spirit never promised me fame listen carefully the Holy Spirit never promised me title the Holy Spirit never promised me good clothes the Holy Spirit never promised me crowds the Holy Spirit never promised me ministry but he promised to be a representation of the presence of God and to empower me continually the only thing he promised me is still what he is keeping because every other thing the highest value a man can have on earth is to be anointed the highest value you can possess on earth is to sustain an ability to provide solutions that are supernatural hmm. yeah. where your word becomes his word the holy spirit has possessed me like a demon literally every part of me every part of me when I speak is his voice when I bless is his authority when I command it is his authority speaking it is based on this consciousness that we can gather people and say come bring your pain bring your burdens bring it there are people here sick there are people here saying apostle can my life change keep watching you're about to watch the biggest drama in your life how fast situations can change because of him man of god you need him businessman businesswoman you need him you don't need bottles of minerals you don't need a bigger container you need him and his wisdom are we together now i said it last week the key to walking with him is communion fellowship fellowship whatever you bring to the stage of life is the product of your secret place with him you're not going to stand here and fake relationship with him no sir no sir many people do it and disgrace themselves whatever you bring to the stage of life is an effulgence of your secret place so when i stand here when i'm preparing to go for koinonia i imagine him just waiting happily i know he's here but he's also with me and as i enter while i'm coming those who come usually a protocol person follows me and as soon as we take this turn and i see people they just see me smiling they don't know why i'm smiling when i come here and i sit down here i'm just watching people and watching the testimonies in my mind i look around and sometimes the lord keeps showing me the visions of people's issues and then i am overjoyed you see me waiting i can't wait for worship team to finish singing do you know why because i want him to speak to you when he holds this mic through my hands and he speaks to you through my voice and commands situations and circumstances then you will watch them melt away ah. you are amazing you are amazing Hello. you are amazing you are amazing. 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 From tonight. You will walk some of you as you are going you will see phone calls that should not enter listen every time you see anything unusual smile back to him and say my partner at work at work Shalabakotaya, my partner at work you go back to that ministry fire on the altar 
my partner at work you are lying down and sleeping and a dream comes with a powerful idea my partner working while i'm sleeping somebody calls you and says sorry i i used to work against you but now i repent someone at the backside has been compelling him are we are we together do you believe all that i've shared or are you just excited i can't speak hausa the holy spirit does not speak english i can't speak yoruba i can't speak this no no apostle i am so weak i am i am like a non-entity no problem you are the exact candidate for partnership with him so that at the end of it the excellency of power may be of god and not of you rise up on your feet let's stop here I want you to lift your voice in one minute and cry passionately and say Holy Spirit more than ever before more than ever before I want to walk with you lift your voice and pray change our lives anoint us anoint me anoint me empower my destiny anoint me that's your prayer tonight anoint me fresh anointing fresh fire I want to walk with you I want to walk with you doing wonders with you changing lives with you transforming destinies with you Transforming destinies. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship. Lamb of God, I worship you. Lamb of God. I worship you, Lamb of God. I worship you, Lamb of God. I worship you. But 
thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head, regardless of what it has been in my life. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory. And the lifter up of my head Hello, give Madonna Listen, there is a fresh impartation that is coming upon your life. An impartation is a transference of unction. It's a transference of possibilities. So that what was not in your life, all of a sudden, is activated in your life. What you have no business seeing in your life, steps into your life. And you begin to walk in those dimensions. Hallelujah. 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 Please lift your hands. We're going to be fast. Tonight, tonight's session is an impartation. Please, I want you to believe it. I don't know how else to convince you. There are things, graces and dimensions that we need in our lives, but we cannot access in ourselves. But if we believe them, if we believe them, if we believe them, we will see it. Hallelujah. The first impartation God is releasing tonight, and I want you to bring those people out. There is a strange grace I see for speed, and the Lord is saying I should stretch my hands. It's a dimension of the spirit. It's a year of triumph. God is bringing speed. Right now, I stretch my hands. Let it be now, inside and outside. Speed. 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 inside outside everywhere speed like fire is coming on your chest it's coming on people's chest i don't know why but it's coming on people's chest a strange mantle grace for speed an impartation of the anointing for speed it's by the spirit it's by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing 27 people Climbing ladders in the spirit. Let it be now. Let it be now. Now. The anointing of the spirit is locating those people. It's a new dimension. I'm seeing ascendance in the spirit. People rising. That's what I'm seeing. Rising. Climb that ladder. It's happening to you. There is an energy of the spirit that is taking men to this dimension. 27 people inside outside i'm seeing it happen by the spirit men rising to new levels of possibilities we may not have space to bring everybody out but we'll just guide them somewhere 
rising, rising, rising from one dimension, one dimension, one dimension. Please, I want you to lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. My hands are shaking and the Lord is telling me that he wants to do an impartation of the healing anointing. Now listen, the healing anointing right now in the name of Jesus, it will come on your hands. It will come on your hands. It will come on your hands. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The ministry of healing. Not just an emotional ministry. A real dimension. Laying hands on the sick. By the influence of the Holy Ghost. And watching dramatic miracles. 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 I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me yeah. The shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. There are people here praying, Lord, prove to me that I'm called into the ministry. The Lord is saying, an anointing is coming on you now. As a proof, as I'm speaking, you may not even know. But that grace, that grace, that grace is a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign. It's a token. Right now, right now, it's coming on people. A sign. A token. A sign. A token. Many ladies, many ladies are experiencing this sign. A sign. A sign of his hand upon your life he's giving you a sign beyond any shadow of doubt i'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the Lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be yours strength wisdom I'm seeing mantles falling mantles falling strength wisdom coming from heaven strength wisdom coming from heaven Receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass. But he stopped. Right now, I'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. It's not a general prophecy. There are exact people that this is happening to a restoration. A restoration. A restoration. A restoration. A restoration. hallelujah there is a grace i feel like praying for students there is a grace for academic excellence listen it doesn't just happen 
believe me it's not just about what you learn there is a grace there is a, an exact grace for this lord i pray right now in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands to your people as many oh god as will please you let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding let it come upon them right now at the count of three receive it now one two three take it now please help them receive that grace right now it's coming upon you extraordinary intelligence capacity to assimilate capacity to understand capacity to understand hallelujah hallelujah that fair lady that shared her testimony lift your hands i see an angel pouring something like fire on your head father in the name of jesus let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence i don't know you but i release that grace upon you from today you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence in the name of jesus receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit there is a grace for entrepreneurship creativity witty inventions in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least 43 people right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let it come on them oh god believe it let it come on them oh god let it come on them oh god in the name of jesus let it come on them oh god in the name of jesus let it come on them oh god in the name of jesus i stretch my hands now 43 i'm seeing a number 43 strange ideas coming on your spirit now strange ideas creative ideas strange ideas creative ideas receive it right now i want to pray for those in ministry there is always an unction for the next dimension i don't know where you are but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet rising upwards that's the instruction god is giving me in the name of jesus lord i'm praying right now fresh fire fresh mantle let it begin to arise now you are in ministry in this place begin to receive it right now in the name of jesus receive it right now in the name of jesus receive it right now those in ministry help them strange fire i see strange fire rising from the feet right on top from the feet rise on top from the feet please help them in the name of jesus can you carry the child so that he doesn't enjoy? in the name of jesus strange fire revival fire supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction hallelujah the lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that he wants to bring into intimacy with him there is a dimension of intimacy it will surprise you you will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place the holy spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people lord where are they where are they find them find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to beyond church beyond church beyond church hallelujah ah i'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire 
literal physical fire that will not stop you will go with it you will wake up with it it will continue there is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people an energizing of the spirit happening to people is a fresh fire it's a fresh fire hallelujah if you came with anything that is a point of contact whether a document certificate whatever it is that is a point of contact whether you are inside or outside anything you can use I want you to lift it up so many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit there's someone at the media stand the Lord is lifting that person to the next level I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand stepping up let them enter oh God right now let them enter into that realm that dimension somebody at the media stand the Lord is, is like an initiation into a dimension into a dimension hallelujah Acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons I've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way I'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together many of you will be surprised believe me believe me many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen we are talking about the holy spirit here we are not just talking about an anointed man we are talking about the holy spirit his anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life and you see grace speaking for you grace speaking for you Lift it up. You can lift your hands. ready to speak now in the name that is above all names I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now let a let a grace the power of performance that makes things to work I release it right now upon that instrument I release it upon your documents I release it upon your pictures I release it upon your certificates I release it upon your proposals hear me whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact I give life to it now in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate I change it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ 
I decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you listen everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously I opened the door for it to continue everyone here in business any kind of godly business I stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what I'm praying for you I bring you into a dimension of rest now every troubled family here all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of Jesus I introduce an anointing to that family and I command let there be peace right now 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 every troubled family let there be peace right now there are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency I speak to you hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear in the name of Jesus Christ in dreams and visions may his will be made known to you in the name of Jesus Christ I command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things I command right now fear go in the name of Jesus 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 every veil of disfavor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it i decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare may your miracle job find you believe what you are hearing may your miracle job find you in the name of jesus now i pray for anyone here having any infirmity i don't care what it is i don't care how long any stranger in your body a lady is going to shout now under the anointing and then the power of god for healing will touch people in the name of Jesus, I command be healed now. Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood disease be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Migraines be healed now. Every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now growths and lumps around the body whether breast lumps all kinds of lumps I command that they disappear right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your family in the name of Jesus between now and the next seven days 
may you hear strange testimonies from home please believe me i say it again between now and the next seven days i stand in the name of the lord god of heaven and i command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work i stretch my hands to yours and i command from today become a proof producer i command today become a result producer become a result producer become a proof producer in the name of jesus hear me every pending issue over your life every pending issue any kind of pending issue right now issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit and will not be resolved i decree and declare let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now every family here that has experienced delay as a family not an individual alone shake it here yeah. there is unction upon me the hand of god is upon me in the name of jesus i decree and declare the lord is asking me to push families forward i push you forward now by the mystery of prophecy i push you forward now i push you forward now hear me in the name of jesus christ whoever must show up in your life and lift you and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven whose i am and i decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of man strange encounters strange encounters mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough everything that has died in your hands and in your life hear the word of the lord i command it to come back to life now i want to pray please drop your hands just the brothers lift your hands i want to release upon you grace for establishment listen if you are wise you will pay attention to what i'm saying there is a grace that establishes men are we together now establishment is where you gain stability in life financially are we together relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands in the name of jesus i pray for every brother here the grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men the grace and the unction that establishes men financially ministerially career-wise and in purpose 
at the count of three in the name of Jesus Christ whose I am and whom I serve I decree and declare may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now upon you I command that grace there is a gentleman outside that grace is coming upon him in a mighty way take that grace right now brothers receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ listen it is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life help us come to support you to gain your footing in life it's not just by growing old there is a grace you don't have to pay for everything by yourself there is a grace that sends helpers to your life to your ministry establishment is a mystery in the spirit you can have a thing but when you are established you are you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others there are many people who are experiencing finances here but they are not established you are established means you can bless others without being affected established in wisdom your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child two more prayers and we're done tonight the Lord is ministering to me the Lord is ministering to me that he wants to take away barrenness 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 it doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone unproductivity is a cause is the cause of hardship the classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness in the name of Jesus I command your desert to become a fruitful vine in the name of Jesus I command your fruitful vine to become a forest I say it again in the name of Jesus I command your desert to be a fruitful vine I command your desert to be a fruitful vine in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah in one minute I want you to ask the Lord for any one thing I'm releasing my faith with you just one thing lift your voice and pray I'm releasing my faith with you please pray one minute ask the Lord and watch it happen I release my faith with you in the name of Jesus I release my faith with you ask the Lord don't say it is impossible we're talking about the God of heaven here we're talking about the spirit of the living God what you see is the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit ask what he will and it be granted unto you by the Spirit of God. Are you praying? Just one thing. Change my life. Just one thing. Give me laughter. Just one thing. Answer my marriage. Just one thing. Give me a child. Just one thing. Settle me financially. Just one thing, multiply your grace on my life. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that you have asked the Lord, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony listen the Bible says and whatsoever Adam called it that was the name thereof if it is called a testimony then it becomes a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ no matter how impossible it is may the God of all flesh the God of Jeshurun that rides upon the wings of the wind I pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen as you go back this night don't be careless meditate meditate on the things you have received 
and begin to walk conscious of it do you know many of you as a result of today's meeting you will literally start feeling the presence of the holy spirit like a presence walking literally literally i mean what i'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of god leading you in the name of jesus i activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit i program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave it physical notes on papers you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like benny Hinn, it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your plates and you will carry strange fire in the name of jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you i'm sorry i'm the one who stole your laptop i'm sorry i'm the one who took this from you i'm sorry because of the presence of god listen by this new dimension of encounter i command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blast untouchable by arm robbers in the name of jesus hear me quarter to shame your senior partner will arise for you no longer will people say where is your god your life will be an answer to that prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen there are some of you here what has happened to you tonight it will last for a long time the word of god the bible will open to you in a fresh way a way that you have never seen it a dimension that you have never seen hear me some of you after tonight god will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people don't be afraid you will go and you will watch miracles erupt signs and wonders erupt in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father i ask finally that everyone following online everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows everything that has made men mock god in your life i am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart i give you the next 13 days surprise them surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life surprise your accusers surprise everyone who knew you in the name of jesus wave your hands to jesus listen this is how men are made in the kingdom 
products of transfers spiritual transfers spiritual deposits something that was not in your life coming upon your life and creating a scene in your life that was not there never act like you don't know how it came it's by the spirit fellowship with the spirit fellowship with the spirit pray in the spirit and then you walk in those dimensions hallelujah thank you jesus for that which you have done tonight much more than these teachings oh god invade the life of your people and cause them to know you in the name of jesus christ keep standing if you can very quickly there are people here your first encounter with the holy spirit tonight is as a convictor he's convicting you of sin of righteousness and of judgment there are people here who listening to me overflow one two three online and right here there are people here who are saying man of god i don't like the way my life is and i want to come to jesus i want to run to him i want to start afresh please pay attention don't be busy let me have your attention this is a very important call there are others who are saying man of god i have responded to an altar call before but now i need to start afresh with god i don't know how things went haywire in my life but right now i'm running to him in the next two minutes if you belong to any of these categories the holy spirit is already convicting you i want you to run whether you are inside or outside run quickly come and stand here quickly the holy spirit is calling you are you coming quickly koinonia celebrate them if you are outside run 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 follow any of the doors and make your way inside quickly i didn't say walk please run our time is gone run like you are coming to receive an award run like your life is about to change don't be embarrassed don't be ashamed he's giving you a new beginning don't say they know me that's nobody's business this is an affair between you and the lover of your soul there are still more people to come are you ashamed or are you rushing to come are you ashamed or are you rushing to come don't act like you're not hearing his voice those outside make your way quickly quickly make your way join them if you're coming those of us here i salute you some of you are making this decision for the first time some of you have made this decision before and your life just scattered and you are getting back to him it doesn't matter what category if you are joining them please help this our mother she's joining them make your way quickly it doesn't matter what you have done he's giving you a new beginning when you stand here lift your right hand and say it sincerely and truthfully make sure that you are making a decision that is genuine not just an emotional decision say after me lord jesus i love you and i believe in you tonight i have heard your word i need the holy spirit in my life i ask you jesus to forgive me to cleanse me give me a new beginning from today i declare that my sins are forgiven i declare that the life of god is in me i'm a child of god the holy spirit lives in me in the name of jesus father i pray that you preserve these ones i decree and declare that guilt leaves your life i decree and declare that condemnation leaves your life from today the lord gives you a new beginning i supply grace for you to live a victorious christian life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you now i want you to follow the lady waving her hands you're quite many just coordinate yourselves and quickly follow that lady they would have a word or two with you outside and require that you um you just do one or two things your life will change forever in jesus name koinonia let's honor god for them hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then 
like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching